Neil has created a new demonstration to illustrate an explosion of green hydrogen. Bray didn't know that there were even colours of hydrogen. This doesn't mean the colour of the gas, but these are terms that have been introduced quite recently to describe the way that hydrogen is made, the sustainability of the production method. Traditionally, the industrial production of hydrogen is from methane reacting with steam, and it produces hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So from the point of view of climate change, it's very bad because the CO2 is released. That is called grey hydrogen. Now, there is a variation in which you do the same reaction, but you capture the CO2 and bury it under the ground or under the sea, and then it's called blue hydrogen. Then you can make hydrogen by electrolysis, passing electric current through water containing something that makes it slightly more electrically conducting than pure water. Neil used a small amount of sulfuric acid for the process, but there are a variety of things you can add. Hydrogen that is made by passing electricity from a nuclear power station is called pink hydrogen, or some people call it purple hydrogen. And then there is green hydrogen, which is also made by electrolysis, but making the electricity from a renewable source, wind turbine or solar energy. Neil has a solar panel outside the building attached to a wire that comes out of his lab so that he can have the panel in the sunlight. And the other end of the wire is attached to a battery because the sun goes in and out, and just to give a more stable electrical supply. And then that battery is connected to a terrific apparatus that he's built out of junk pieces of glassware that he found in a lab that was being emptied. Wires from the battery are attached to two platinum electrodes, electrodes made out of thin pieces of platinum metal. The current goes through the water. All right, I'm ready. Generates oxygen at one electrode, hydrogen at the other electrode. It bubbles up and into his green balloon. Initially, it seemed to inflate very slowly. And then while Brady and I were out of the room, Neil found a leak, and after that, it increased at a considerably better pace. And then, with the match on the stick, it went with a big Bang! And a quite a loud bang because the hydrogen and the oxygen were not separated. So there was a hydrogen-oxygen mixture in just the right proportions, two moles of hydrogen to one mole of oxygen so that you make water with a nice bang. It demonstrates the principle very nicely how you can use sunlight to generate hydrogen, which in principle could be used to fuel road vehicles, heat houses, and so on. Though I think you'd need a rather more efficient apparatus than Neil's to get the thing to work. There is one extra twist that when we looked up to check that we got the right colours for hydrogen, people have now started talking about yellow hydrogen, which is hydrogen made from electricity from solar energy. 
So Neil's hydrogen, perhaps, rather than being green, is actually yellow. But he didn't have a balloon that was both green and yellow. Now, the thing that really excited Brady was gold hydrogen. And gold hydrogen is very rare. And this is naturally occurring hydrogen that you can find in deposits under the ground. You drill a hole and out comes hydrogen. And that is produced by very hot steam generated by the heat of the earth reacting with a metal such as iron in minerals so that you get iron oxide and hydrogen. Now, in principle, it's wonderful. You drill a hole and out comes hydrogen. The drawback is that there are not many deposits of gold hydrogen, and they're in really isolated places, thousands of miles from where you might actually want to use the hydrogen. But it does show that nature sometimes produces hydrogen. And if we are to make energy carriers that are sustainable, Green hydrogen, like Neil is making, could be the way forward. Of course, nature does produce hydrogen on a pretty grand scale, just not here on Earth. True. Well, um, there's a lot of hydrogen out there. The hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. But unfortunately, it's, most of it is not here. And so it is rather like the cows looking over the fence and seeing the grass being greener on the other side. The hydrogen is greener out in space, but we can't get it. Why not become a hydrogen supporter of periodic videos like these people here? Or maybe you want to choose another element? The whole table awaits you. There are details on screen and in the video description.